Stop believing it's only gonna be what you learn. You have to see people's stock rising. If you go work with someone like me on a coaching program, do not come into it like a fool and think, Wes, I paid you 7,500 to learn how to build my coaching business. What are you gonna teach me? Ride with me. My clients are family. Elevate with me. Go to the top with me. The guys who I show you in my client wins, they're the motherfuckers who rode with me. They were like, I paid you 7,500. What are you gonna teach me? You don't even know what you need to learn if you don't settle the fuck down and live this with us. Guerrero, gas money, superhuman fathers. These are guys who all started their businesses from nothing. They came in just seeking personal development. They were seeking personal development and then what they got was a massive blessing in disguise. Once they got themselves right, then they, they got on board with teaching other people to heal themselves. So they got themselves right by me teaching them their training, their nutrition, their macros, the mindset of being someone who doesn't fucking miss. Do you understand this shit? They're successful because they didn't miss. Go to Guerrero Fitness on Instagram. He won't miss. Follow him till he does. It won't happen. Go to Gas Money on fucking Instagram. Follow him till he misses. It won't fucking happen. That's what I create in my program. So who understands the simplicity of not looking for a master plan. Mastering the fucking plan, stupid. There's no master plan needed. You need to learn how to master the plan. That comes from self-mastery. These motherfuckers have mastered themselves because I taught them how I mastered myself. I never miss. The fuck? That's the secret. You will be like, well, how long is it going to take for me to get my outcome? Because if I don't get it, I have to go do something else. There isn't anything else for us. If you have that mindset, you'll be everybody else. Because everybody else is so fucking transactional. You need to be... The one sentence I need you guys to take away from what the fuck I'm saying right now is be relational, not transactional. Relational over transactional. Build a relationship with the top mentors that you want to work with. See them as a stock if you have to, an asset you're investing in if you have to, and follow everything they tell you. They're not telling you shit that didn't work for them. And if it worked for them, it'll work for you. Don't be so jaded and have a sup, such a fucking low ver vision of self that you're thinking, well, Wes has a crazy prison story. I don't have a crazy story. Am I talking about prison right now? No. I have plenty of guys who their story was very normal. They were firefighters. They were truck drivers. They owned a gym. Those are those three guys right there. That's what they did before they started making millions coaching others online. You guys... Personal development is the most valuable thing you could sell and teach someone. That's why it yields the results it fucking does. Do you fucking understand that you guys are looking for success? You're looking for money. You're looking for this. You're looking for that. But you're not looking to make the sacrifices to create the individual that'll keep it. My guys will keep it. I will keep it. Unless something crazy happens. But we have the mindset of who gives a fuck. I don't even care as long as I keep me up. There's something that's out, some shit that's not even out of my control. And there's lessons that need to be learned still. We're all not impervious to the lessons that are lying for us in the future. None of us are. How could I have done 10 years in the penitentiary and then come out and have it be my greatest asset and not believe there's a future problem coming my way that will be my second or my first, my biggest asset yet. The problems that we overcome become our greatest assets. They become the trophies on our shelves. They become the validating source to us when we're faced with adversity for another round. But the point being is stop coming at top people transactionally. Come at them to build a relationship. You'll get much more. I, I'm going to dinner right now with two of my clients. Like when I pulled into LA the other day, when I came into town, 
I met up with people I met online that I work with. Met up with Drew, dad of dads on Instagram. I met up with Edwin. I'm, Ed, Edwin, I'm about to do this podcast the other day. He was also at the Mastermind. I met up with them. They're, they're my homies. My homies are into personal development. My non-homies aren't. Can't be around them. I love them. I hope they change and grow. But I really can't be around people who aren't subscribed to my way of life. I mean, I don't mind to. I, I love to be around them. The thing is, they can't be around me. The way I am and the way I talk and how strict. I mean, I'm stern with self and kind to others. But when I'm being stern with self, it seems unkind to them because my habits actually pinpoint flaws in their character. I won't even say anything. I could just say, no, I don't drink. I'm good. Like, I don't do that. They would be like, why? Now, you're, now your habit has just pinpointed a flaw in their character and they feel like maybe you look down on them. No, they're looking down on them. That's the problem. I didn't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck if people around me smoke weed, drink, do whatever. I'm supposed to be the living example. So I need people like that to be around me. And one of my favorite quotes is live and let witness. I like for them to just witness that I don't have the lows that they have. If they don't experience lows from their, you know, their ill-gotten highs or the instant gratification they seek in the form of getting high, well then more power to them. But I noticed it in myself drastically when I was in prison and when I was getting to the wick's end. When I was done finally using and I was done living that life, I noticed how nasty the lows got. They were like, oh, they were so detrimental. I, I couldn't even imagine being hungover right now. I couldn't imagine using any substance and having to come down and face myself anymore because I face myself in a positive way every fucking day. I love you guys. Uh, relational over fucking transactional. Don't come at people like me and think transactionally like, like, you, like you're buying something. Like you come and build a relationship. Like make this a long-term thing. I'm not going anywhere. And I want good people in my corner. That's why I put this out here. That's why it started in prison like this. I didn't want to be around people that I despised because their character and their habits were so flawed. I had to let people view how I lived and then start to change and then ask me to help them change. And when they did, I put my heart and soul into it. I suggest you guys do the same. Don't force it on your people. Just live and let witness. I love you guys. Let's go.